A traveler's ideal gateway to the Middle East is Jordan. The location is safe and welcoming, bringing visitors close to natural beauties and providing them with first-rate hospitality. Once you immerse yourself in this laid-back nation's culture, you'll immediately feel at home. Jordan's roots extend beyond the past, though. Amman, its hilltop capital, is teeming with lively eateries and cafes, upscale shopping, and stunning art galleries. The Dead Sea is another option where you can unwind after a long day of sightseeing and indulge in some much-needed pampering at one of the numerous opulent beachfront resorts. Therefore, we'll talk about the top 10 Jordanian tourist destinations in this video. Subscribe to our channel before continuing to see more content like this. Number 10. Desert Castles. The Desert Castles are a collection of archaeological structures located in the Zarqa Governorate, which stretches from Amman to the Saudi Arabian border. Around the beginning of the 7th century, the Umayyads constructed these ancient Islamic structures. The group of buildings, which aren't precisely castles in the conventional sense, also includes hunting lodges, forts, military citadels, bathhouses, and rest areas for caravans. To see the sites, hire a car and travel the Desert Castle Loop. Qusir Halabat, a Roman fort with volcanic basalt rock and a well-preserved mosaic, Qusir al karana a castle-like structure with dozens of rooms whose original function has been lost to history, and Azraq Castle, an ancient walled fort known as the location where T. E. Lawrence sought shelter in 1917-1918, are all sites you'll have the opportunity to see. Number 9. Dead Sea. A must-do activity in Jordan is floating in the Dead Sea. This body of water is situated 418 meters below sea level, making it the lowest spot on earth that is reachable by a road. With salt-covered rock ledges and desolate red mountains in the background, it virtually glows a bright hue of turquoise. The Dead Sea region's attractions are around an hour's drive from Amman. The water at the Dead Sea is well known for being mineral-rich. Wellness enthusiasts think the water has skin-healing qualities. The Dead Sea is so sharp and dense that you can only actually float on the surface, so don't plan to swim laps in it. There are several places from which one can enter the Dead Sea, including Amman Beach. Spend more money and stay at one of the opulent spa hotels on the Dead Sea's northeastern coast. Usually, they contain enclosed wading pools with buckets of Dead Sea mud. Your skin will be softer than ever after taking only one bath with this reddish-brown sludge. Number 8. Um Kays. Around 110 kilometers 68 miles, to the south of the capital Amman, Um Kays is frequented by tourists who travel there for the day to see the huge ruins and take in the panoramic views. Israel Sea of Galilee and Tiberias are visible, and just beyond the Yarmouk River Valley lies the southern tip of Syria's Golan Heights, which Israel has occupied since the 1967 Six-Day War. On clear days, Mount Hermon, which borders Lebanon, is visible in the distance. Greek statues and Christian mosaics found during archaeological excavations of ancient Gadara are shown at Beit Rausen, which is now a visitor center and museum. Number 7. Aqaba. You don't think you can go on a beach holiday in the scorching, arid Middle East? Think again. Tourists can enjoy vacations on the stunning Red Sea shoreline in Aqaba, a seaside resort on Jordan's southern edge. From Aqaba, you can dive, snorkel, swim, or float. On one of the daily cruises that the nearby hotels offer, you can also venture out onto the blue water. Spend some time relaxing in one of the charming hammams in the resort area to enhance your Jordanian beach trip. When you're hungry, tuck into Saidia, a native dish from Aqaba that features fish over tasty rice with onion, tomato, and chili pepper. Number 6. Karak Castle. Historically, Karak Castle served to safeguard the property of Crusader kingdoms in the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem, but today, its function is much more routine. There are about 350,000 people living in the city that borders Karak Castle, which is a lively tourist destination. The World Heritage Committee concluded in 1985 that Karak should not be a UNESCO site because there were better representative examples of Crusader castles, despite the fact that many travelers along the historic King's Highway stop at Karak en route to other tourist destinations. There are numerous instances of Crusader castles in the Transjordan that are in better repair, thus this is partially because the castle is not in the best shape. Number 5. Ajlan Castle. 
Visitors who wish to view some of the nicest natural landscapes in all of Jordan should make the drive to Ajlaun, which is just 20 kilometers northwest of Jarash. The Ajlaun Forest Reserve, a 13-square-kilometer area of beautiful, open woodlands, is a great place to spend a day trekking. The region is covered in wildflowers in the spring, which provides amazing photo opportunity. Keep an eye out for the neighborhood's striped hyenas and crested porcupines. Be sure to stop by the Ajlaun Castle, which is located on Mount Alf's summit. In the ruins of an even older Byzantine monastery, it was constructed in the 12th century as defense against crusader assaults. The Jordan Valley may be seen in all its glory from the mountaintop viewpoint. Number 4. Wadi Rum. One of the most breathtaking vistas on earth may be found in Jordan's southern region, in a place called Wadi Rum. This sandstone and granite rock valley, also known as the Valley of the Moon, is an unearthly experience with towering cliffs, enormous dunes, swirling archways, and tunnels. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2011 and served as the backdrop for the majority of the 1962 motion picture Lawrence of Arabia. Fans of adventure, eat your heart out, the Wadi Rum has been turned into an ecotourism haven by the local Zalabia Bedouin tribal community. You can take ATV rides, hike through canyons, climb up sandstone slopes while wearing a harness, or ride camels or feisty Arabian horses across the area. You can witness petroglyphs of people and antelopes in the Kazali Canyon, which may date back as far as the 8th century BC, if you ask your tour guide to take you there. Number 3. Jarash Ruins. Visiting the ruins at Jarash is the closest approach to time travel there is. It is one of the best-preserved ancient Roman cities in the world and is home to amazing attractions, including temples, colonnaded streets, and a huge sports arena with room for 15,000 spectators. Hadrian's Arch is the first stop on tourists viewing tours of the Jarash ruins. When you realize that the about 11-meter-tall structure was previously twice as large, it is astounding. If that didn't impress you, wait till you see what's up ahead. Chariot races were once held as entertainment for tens of thousands of spectators at the Hippodrome, a sports arena built about the second century. Through daily reenactments, which include gladiators engaged in combat and chariots competing in lap races, the antiquated sport is brought back to life. Number 2. Roman Ruins in Amman. Fantastic archaeological sites can be found in Jordan without having to travel all the way to Petra. In fact, there are a number of fascinating ruins in Amman, the country's capital, where you'll likely arrive from overseas, several of which are nearby one another. The Amman Citadel is one of the most well-known ruins, so head downtown to visit it. Around the citadel, archaeologists have discovered items that indicate it has been inhabited since at least the Bronze Age. You may view the few remaining columns of the magnificent Temple of Hercules, an important Roman building that was never finished, here. Look for the finger sculpture made of stone that was previously a part of a Hercules statue that was possibly over 12 meters tall. It provides a hint as to how magnificent this attraction was at its apex. Number 1. Petra. Be ready to be astounded by Petra. Since the long lost city was rediscovered by Swiss explorer Jean Louis Burckhardt more than 200 years ago, this attraction, one of the new seven wonders of the world, has astounded visitors in the present day. To see all the top attractions in and around Petra, which include more than 800 registered sites, you'll need at least two days. If you do, however, have extra time, you won't regret spending it here. It's an experience unlike any other to stroll through a city this old and in such good shape. Tourists are quickly impressed by Petra. Following the entryway are the mysterious gin blocks, large stone structures whose original function is still unknown, and then the obelisk tomb. It's just a taste of the breathtaking sights to come. From here, you will proceed via the Sick, a renowned narrow canyon road surrounded on both sides by high walls. Look along the walls to see the remains of the ancient water channels that once supplied Petra, as well as the niches where the religious engravings known as Beatles were once placed. These artifacts give some indication that Petra might have once been revered as a holy city. Also keep a watch out for the worn-out relief sculpture depicting two merchants leading two camels. This is it for today's video. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel before you leave.